In anticipation of the madness of Black Friday deals, we're going to be redesigning the GameStop website. Uh, as you can see right now, the GameStop website is just covered in ads for Black Friday, and it's not the worst website, it's actually quite nice, but I think we can do a little better. In particular, I think we can kind of help to guide potential buyers towards deals that would be more relevant to them, as opposed to throwing everything at the wall and hoping something sticks. I really like the, the nice red accent color that they've got going on here, and then kind of the aesthetic of wrapping up each section uh, with a bow or a ribbon, so we're gonna try and keep that. Here's the style guide, got the accent color, that nice saturated red, uh, lovely black, and then we're gonna use Jakarta Sand, a really nice Sans font with kind of a tacky feel appropriate for a site like GameStop. Uh, so let's get in there and see what we come up with. One of the first things we're changing here is we're swapping over to a dark theme. It's not a secret that the particular demographic that buys stuff from GameStop are usually be browsing at night when they're relaxing, winding down from a day of staring at screens and they probably don't want to get flash banged with a bright white aesthetic. Wanted to tweak the visual hierarchy a little bit to try and pull some more attention towards GameStop Pro. Of course, it's not necessarily the number one thing a user would be interested in, but I didn't even know it existed until browsing this site. So why not add a little bit more emphasis so that users can find the call to action? Navigation was a bit challenging to redesign, uh, but I ultimately settled on moving the primary navigation into the space where the secondary navigation sits today, and then bumping the location selector over to the right, so that users can do all the main things you'd expect them to do with this UI, navigate the site and select a store in the same context. Instead of what they're doing today, I wanted to refactor the primary hero container to just showcase one deal that made sense. Uh, probably a flagship deal, something that they're kind of marketing in other avenues as well. And of course we can use a carousel to get a little more value out of the header, um, although in any given context we're only showing one big deal as the first clickable element. And I think that's important because oftentimes, especially with sites like this where there's hundreds and hundreds of deals, users can feel a sense of overwhelm. And if we distill that down into one potential deal that's a really good fit for them, all that goes away. I really like the treatment of wrapping up the sections as if they're gifts. I feel like that's thematically so cool. Uh, so I'm trying to duplicate that here with a nice little box shadow. And later we'll also do a little hand-drawn ribbon on here, which uh, doesn't look the greatest because I'm not the best illustrator, but the, the little touches like this, I think go a long way to kind of communicating visually uh, what you want people to, to feel. Moving on to the next section here, we can usually just assume that the user is not interested in the primary flagship deal if they scroll beyond it, and then we have an opportunity to present them with multiple deals. But which deals should we show them? And I'd say that we should lead with the popular ones and then let the user decide which categories most interest them to see any more deals. So here we're giving users an interactive filter control where they can select on the topic that's relevant to them, uh, maybe they're only interested in one particular console or one particular genre of games and then all of the deals on the page could update to reflect that choice. Now we're just adding some finishing touches, some nice little bits of flair to the site to break up the monotony a little bit.
All right, there we go. I feel like the dark aesthetic is much more appropriate for the kind of person that's gonna be buying stuff from GameStop. Uh, you're usually talking gamers and people that are active more at night, uh, so you don't wanna flashbang their screen when they visit your store for a cheeky new deal on a new console. Uh, but here we've got, of course, the, the big hero image that kind of pulls them into a specific deal. These are like the, the lost leader deals or the things that are almost certain to get conversions. If anything would get a conversion, one of these will. Um, and then as the user scrolls, they're able to kind of cater the experience to their preferences as opposed to just seeing everything. If I'm only interested in PlayStation 5 content, I could click on this and uh, have the view be filtered to my perspective. Um, but all things considered, I think the information hierarchy is a lot better now. Um, the way that the content's laid out, the use of color, I think is a lot more interesting too. But let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you found this one useful, folks. Happy Thanksgiving. See you next week.